Okay, so let's see. So 3D printers and laser cutters have complementary qualities and limitations. Uh, as you know, 3D printed objects can be geometrically very complex, but they must fit in the machine's typically small build volume. In contrast, laser cutting beds can be much larger, but they are two-dimensional. So the question we explore here is, how can we leverage both of these machines to design and fabricate large objects? And the prototype system we present here is called Rod Steward. And Rod Steward considers large-scale large objects <laughs> objects composed of 3D printed joints and laser cut rods. Uh, it supports a wide variety of customizable objects, um, tessellated surfaces like this uh, wolf's head over here, or wireframe furniture like this functional coffee table. Um, and the network, ro uh, network of rods can be an arbitrary graph like this guitar stand uh, over here. Uh, for the rods, Rod Stewart uses off-the-shelf wooden dowel that anyone can purchase at a hardware store, and all the geometric complexity uh, is, is handled by 3D printed joint parts, uh, which friction fit onto the rods, so you don't need any tools or any glue. Um, and the system has three stages. The first stage is a virtual design application, uh, as shown over here. The second one, uh, which uses the output of the first stage, is it generates instructions for physically 3D printing joints and for laser cutting the rods, as you can see over here. In the middle, you have the 3D printer and the laser cutting both working in parallel. Um, and the last stage is an interactive guided assembly application to help the user build their object. And you can see Alec Jacobson over there, who is the author of this work, building something. Uh, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so there's a short demonstration video highlighting the features of the design tool. Um, and one thing I would like you to notice is that the user performs a large a number of interactive operations and the system reacts in real time to update the geometry for all those operations, such as this one. So it's a complete design tool has standard uh, things that you can do, such as like moving things and rotating and scaling, um, selection obviously. The other thing that it does is rod steward. Uh, it, it is a steward for your rods. So it ensures that the geometry that you build is physically fabricable by detecting these intersections between rods and gives you real time feedback. Also about the stability of the system, if you move the center of mass too much, uh, then it tells you that. So. Uh, Rod Stewart is great, tells you everything. Okay, so the 3D printable, uh, printable joint geometries are generated automatically using uh, robust algorithms. And unlike previous methods, we do not limit the angles or size of the design. And in this archive paper, we provide details and point out a few pitfalls which previous methods overlooked. As for the rods, uh, you could cut them with a traditional saw and miter box. However, it's actually much faster and less error prone to pack them into a small number of cuts and then use a laser cutter, laser cutter uh, to print them, sorry, to cut them in a single job. And all 14 rods in this example, for, ex for example, got cut in less than three minutes. Uh, so here's the short demonstration video highlighting the features of the third, uh, the interactive guided assembly tool. Uh, here you can see Alex's hands building things. Um, and this is a step-by-step -step procedure, so you, uh, the, the tool tells you which rod you need to fit into the joints first, then you press the next button, you go to the next one, uh, and so on, you keep going. Okay, and finally, using Rod Stewart, we have created a variety of structures, uh, a guitar stand that holds a guitar. Um, then this example over here shows nearly intersecting rods, uh, which you can construct. You can use uh, square profiles instead of circular ones. Uh, this one was built in, built in 30 minutes, like designed in 30 minutes. Um, and this design was explored using our system. So the paper, the poster's out there. Thanks for your attention, and please take a look at the poster as well. Thank you.